Good morning weekend vlog. Um, I am currently sitting in a car park in Fairham. Um, we got up quite early this morning to come and get a package from the Parcel Force office, which is about half an hour away from where we live. So it's a little bit annoying, but we missed the deliveries of some boxes, hopefully to move. Um, the reason we came so early is because it's meant to snow today and it's already started snowing. And I'm like, no, I'm done with you snow. Be gone. It's not settling and it's quite light. So I'm hoping it's just gonna stay like that. Um, so Ash has just gone in to get the package. And then I think we're gonna pop into the Berzeldon Tesco's on the way back. It's a big Tesco's extra, um, just cause it's on the way. And get something for lunch. And then head home and start sorting and packing because this is the weekend where I've got time off to do that. So yeah, well I've scheduled it in basically. Um, and then I need to make a pile of stuff to go to the dump, like this, the sort of landfill site and where they organise it all. Um, so I've got some electronics that I don't want to throw in the bin because that is naughty, you're not meant to do that. And then, yeah, we're going to see how the day goes. So uh, Ash is on his way back with some boxes and, oh, that's not many boxes. Okay, and then we're off to Tesco's. So I've just turned on the directions to take us and there's an option to make it a Mario Kart. Look at him! It's Mario! Love it. Oh, I don't think you can see, but it is proper snowing now. Let's go get some food. Happy Groot. Oh, I can't press it. Happy Groot. Surprise Groot. Really happy Groot. Happy eyes Groot. Ooh. So for lunch today I've decided to have some just hard boiled eggs and this one broke. So it's got a bit of the boiled egg hanging out of the top which is kind of weird looking. Um, so yeah, I just boiled these in a pan, uh, in a saucepan and then put really cold water on them afterwards to stop them cooking and I'm going to crack them and eat these for lunch. This is Ash's lunch by the way. Uh, my lunch? Ash's lunch. <laughs> So we're in the process of packing things up and I found these in the cupboard um, that came from my parents' house. I just wanted to show you. It's when McDonald's did Beanie Baby <laughs> toys. Um, so this one is like the lobster. Then we've got this one, the old school McDonald's logo on it, which is the crab. We've got this one. I think I've got all of them actually, all of the ones on the package. And then we've got like a few out of the packaging, like the America one. This one used to be one of my favourite Beanie Babies. Pelican, got two pelicans. Got the giraffe. Little dog. I think I've got them all. The monkey. Oh, this one. There's a Winnie the Pooh in here randomly. Um, what else have we got in here? The elephant, the cockerel. Is this the same collection? I may have done it twice. Penguin. Yeah, because the cockerel and the crab and stuff aren't on this one. <laughs> this is really funny that um, I got I collected them all and I kept them in their boxes. So I'm going to keep these because I freaking loved Beat Babies and um, I love that I have them all. I don't know why Winnie the Pooh's in there, but he's going to stay there. I love that I have them all in their original packaging, which is super cute. Also, let me show you the box. This is how I found it. So it was all taped up. Just stick the last ones in there, and this is like Sarah's stuff, and I put like stickers on it. Um, and then tape and things love it so i'm definitely keeping this because it's really cute <laughs> put the lid back on it so yeah i have random mcdonald's beanie babies in my sarah stuff box okay so next up on the list i'm moving on to the wardrobe i have done all my books and dvd cases and everything uh, dvds and everything and now i'm going to go through here obviously i'm going to leave the stuff that i wear quite regularly um, but anything like summer dresses and things, I'm going to pack away. So they're all ready for the new place. And then I've given my case a bit of a clean out, so it's all nice and clean. This is one of the ones I'm going to take to Florida with me. Um, so I'm just going to fill this with clothes. And hopefully it won't fill the whole thing. But we'll see. Mr Bean Teddy there. Hello Mr Bean Teddy. So, so far today, basically, all I've done is been like just sorting through things and packing it. 
not in a fun way like a declutter because the stuff I've um, been putting away I've already done like a declutter of so I'm just kind of going through stuff in the bathroom and making piles let me show you the pile on the floor we've got currently okay so this pile is stuff that's going to webuybooks.com and then the pile down here is stuff for CEX and this is some of many piles this pile here is for a charity shop we've got rubbish we're kind of over here is stuff that's been packed already um red oh hi love it uh, stuff that's pretty much ready to go and um basically what i'm doing ready to go. and basically what i'm doing is i found this i'm basically just not doing what i should be i found this photo album um and i was going through it this photo box just to check it and i found some really funny photos that i want to show you uh the first one is how old so uh i think it was before i was born does it have a date on it oh, what's the date on it no, doesn't have a date, I don't think. But this is my the my mum's house where I grew up in. Um, when my parents moved in, obviously before they did anything to it. And this is the kitchen. Look how dated that looks. Like that's just crazy. Like the fridge and the, you know, and the the t kettle there and the massive microwave. I just saw it and I was like, damn, <laughs> that is an old looking kitchen. And then this one. Uh, if you ever thought I was a style queen as as a child, um, I'm about as stylish as I was as a kid as I am now, which is not very. I am wearing um, some round sunglasses, a like checked plaid top that I've tied around my waist, uh, they're like Adidas shorts and some trainers. Oh, these trainers I actually got from the outlets and they had like a fitness tracker on them that made more noises and everyone was like, that's amazing. Um, so this is in Hollywood Studios. It's like the streets of America when I was a kid. So I'm just going to see what else is in here. And I'll find another one to show you that's cool. Now this is also from my old house. Look at this wallpaper. Oh my gosh, that's me. <laughs> so this would be them ripping the kitchen out. So sort of how far they got. That there. Oh, I can't see it very well. That little foot. Well, that's me. Just coming in the shop. Look at that wallpaper. Damn. Let me see what else I can find. So this is an old school photo of the Jaws ride. You can see in the background that you can see it, the Jaws um, like statue hanging up and there's kind of the part of it that you used to be able to see. Um, this is me and my friends. I think this is in Magic Kingdom. This is me here um, with the stocks. See, I'd say my outfit's pretty cool until you got to my like Disney hat. <laughs> um, and yeah, that is, that's me. Me at SeaWorld. With a top that says, I love Beanie Babies. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> what else have we got? Uh, me and my friend. So, I was quite lucky that um, I actually... My parents kind of uh, took me to Florida quite regularly. And I was able to just kind of bring whoever I wanted. So, this time, um, we took one of my friends. And her family was okay with it. Which, looking back now, I was like, damn. They let someone take their kid on holiday for two weeks. And uh, they were totally fine with it. So, thanks to Louise's parents. Because I had a really good trip. Uh, more. Oh, here we go. I'm starting to get slightly more fashionable here. That same shirt, shirt from the last one, I believe. And uh, oh, those jeans, those like jean shorts, are so popular right now. God, I'm so fashion forward. <laughs> and that's us with Flick from Bugs Life. Um, there's me rocking uh, Yeezys circa 1996, whatever the year was. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um. I'm like, who is that? What character is that? It's obviously a moose of some kind. I'm not sure who that is, but that's at Universal. Look at this big plane. Where is this? Is this... Was this now Spongebob, I think? Okay, so this is kind of shows where my, obsess my obsession from plushes come from. This is one of our hotel room beds in Florida. There's the beanie baby that we found earlier. How funny is that? Um... And I'll kind of run through. I don't remember this doll. This was a really freaky doll clown doll I had. It had a china face. But I really liked it for some reason. This um, is a teddy called... It's a Beanie Baby called, like plush thing called Sherbet. But I call him Sherby. This cow... I actually think both cows I got from the Twister ride. This one I loved. I called him Moo Moo. I remember that. Uh, I don't know when, what happened to Moo. He's probably in the attic at my parents' house. Because I can't imagine that I got rid of him. Oh my god, look, it's Tower of Terror. This is like throwback. Look at these outfits. Old school. Before Rock and Roller Coaster was even built. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Oh my god. Animal Kingdom. 
Oh, this is such a throwback. I hope, oh, see, here we go. Oh, my plushes. This was when I stayed. I don't know where we stayed. Um, Probably like a motel type thing. I hope this isn't really boring for you guys, but I'm like loving this. Uh, this is the Jaws ride, a little bit more. This is in Magic Kingdom. Oh my goodness. So on here, I got a caricature done, um, and that's me at Universal. See, I'm trying to think, like I thought Jurassic Park was quite recent. No, because <laughs> this is an old photo. Does it have a... Oh, it does have a date. No, it doesn't have a date on it. But then this one, like, this is Toon Lagoon. And I, you know, considering I'm 28 years old now, I'm quite young there, I'd say. Oh, my God, those shorts. What are on those shorts? Dolphins. Good. Good fashion. What else do we have? Okay, here's a fun bit of information for you, if you haven't seen some of our older vlogs. Um, I was born pretty much cross-eyed like this. Like, this was how I genuinely looked, which looks ridiculous. <laughs> Um, so I had to have a few eye operations to kind of correct it. I still have a lazy eye now, which I can get fixed, but that's going to be more cosmetic than anything else, so I'm just really not that bothered. But yeah, this is how I looked as a baby, which is just really silly. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I got that fixed. Um, what else do we have? Oh my god. So my mum used to do dried flower arrangements, so this is what's in... I'm so happy. That's in the background. Um... I hope this isn't boring for you guys, but I'm really enjoying this, like going down memory lane. So just going off what I was talking about, uh, about my eye operations, here's my dad. <laughs> and this is me as a baby, I don't know if you can see, is it going to focus? Oh my god, that's terrifying. You can see in my eye there that it's all bloodshot, that was after an operation that I had. So I had quite a few, quite young. And um, yeah, it used to make my eyes completely bloodshot, so I had one major one when I was at school. And like my whole white bits of my eyes were like blood red, I looked like... um. The guy from Star Wars, whose name I've forgotten, Darth Maul. What else do we have? Okay, I found a couple more and then I promise I'm done. Um, so the first one just made me laugh. Look how tanned my dad is. Um, I looked a little bit, so my dad's like got Italian heritage, which is why he looks just, always, this is his natural color pretty much. He's always dark. Look how brown I, I mean, my face isn't, but look at my brown tan. Why did I not keep looking slightly more Italian than I currently do? Um, I think it's because I don't let my hair curl anymore. But, um, yeah, I just saw his picture and was like, wow. That's natural, by the way. That isn't, like, fake tan. <laughs> my dad generally looks that orange. Um, he obviously has a lot more hair in this photo than he currently does. But, yeah, that's my dad. And that's me as a baby. Right, these ones. Uh, this one made me chuckle just because, obviously, when you take prints before, <laughs> you put, like, your finger in the shot. It got a quality control stick on it saying there was an obstruction. I was like, yep, it was my dad's terrible photography skills. These ones um, are of Thought Park and I saw them and I was like, oh my God. Okay, so for reference, if you've been to Thought Park recently, here is the dome and then here is the slide. So like swarms behind it. This area, I believe now is that water slide thing, but this used to be like the really, really kiddie bit. Um... And so there was that right, and then there was this like fish one where you sat in the fish and it went round in a circle. And it just it's funny to see how much the parks change. Like that's that's Thought Park. I think this is where like the um tidal wave is now, I think. And then this one, last one, is a picture of me and my friend Louise and Aladdin. However, the location oh is it gonna focus? The location is what I found really strange. So this is the, obviously the monorail's in the background. Good shot, whoever got that with the monorail. This is the ferry port, and then the monorail um, bit is up here. So this is like the entrance of the park. This is before you even get in. And Aladdin has just casually stood there. That's really cool. Why are there no characters on the outside anymore? It's just because they want your money. That's why. But yeah, I thought that was a really weird location for Aladdin to be. And I really liked it. So uh Back in the box you go. Um, I'll just have a look through and see what was in here. But yeah, that was just kind of a... It's like Clark's box. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of saw those and I was like, oh, that's really cool. So I thought I'd share them. So sorry if that was really boring. Um, I just wanted to show some of the photos I found and like some old school pictures. So I'm going to continue sorting for a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film any more tonight just because it's really boring. Well, I know sorting can be interesting, but what I'm doing right now is boring. But I need to do some more tomorrow, so I'll probably pick this up in the morning. 
and I can show you what I've done and we can do something together. So I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, it is Sunday. Um, I shouted at the snow yesterday and told it to go away and it did for a little bit, but now it's back. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, most of it's already gone this morning. When we woke up, this whole bit was like covered in snow. Um, and it's starting to fall off my car. But yeah, we've had snow again. It's March, like, can you be gone now? We're sick of you in this country. You were fun for like a minute. And now we don't want you anymore. So, uh, go away please. So we did a bit more packing last night. All oh, the red lights flashing, I need to put this camera on charge. And, um, yeah, it was all right. I'm gonna have some breakfast. And then we are gonna go to CX in town to sell some like DVDs and CDs and whatnot. And then I'm, I'm trying to find a receipt because I need to return something but I don't know where the receipt is. It's just really stressing me out. I just want my money back. So uh, I'm gonna look for that. Um, but first off, I'm gonna have some milk and uh, Weetabix for breakfast. I'm gonna put you on charge because this camera is about to die. So I'm in C um, HMV looking at pop vinyls and they have a Justin Bieber. Why? Why is there a Justin Bieber here? They have loads. Some of them make sense, but not Justin Bieber. Oh, they've got Raja. So I'm still continuing to pack, as you can see by literally the boxes that are everywhere and all the stuff that we're kind of moving about. Um, we're in full packing mode. This is kind of where we're at now. We've got like a few rows deeps of boxes. Um, but I found this in with one of my, like just bags of rubbish. And I was like, well, rather than take this with me, I'll just do it now. <laughs> so let's excavate. Wonder what fossil we'll find. Yeah, I gave up. <laughs> um We'll just, we'll just never know what was in there um, because I can't be bothered to continue. So, uh, hey ho. Um, I'm just putting on some, uh, I've just put on some water to boil so that I can have some dinner. I'm gonna have a steak with some vegetables and a couple of new potatoes for dinner tonight. Um, and then I had some, did I show you? No, I had some milk and Weetabix for breakfast. And we went to town around lunchtime, um, gave a lot of stuff into CX, which I just got a nice amount of money for. Had a quick look around IKEA for furniture, and then came back. And we've literally just been packing and sorting. It's only when you really start to pack that you realise, like, you have so much stuff. We have so many boxes now, yet it feels like we've packed nothing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we do have the uh, well the estate agents like our letting agents for this place coming round tomorrow to take photos um <laughs> to put up because obviously selling this place so um we need to make it like reasonably presentable for that so we've kind of paused really packing and now we're just tidying so i've done the kitchen which need to wipe the sides um bathroom's tidy i just need to wipe the sides and then just tidy up in the lounge. I mean, now that we've taken everything out of all the cupboards and everything, the stuff that we're yet to sort, we can technically just stick in the cupboards until we get around to doing it. Um, I'm gonna put all the charity stuff in the boot of my car, I think, just so it's out of the way, because there's a lot of stuff for charity. Um, and then maybe next weekend we'll drive around and, and drop it all off. And that'll be a lot gone. Uh, we've gone through so many bin bags. I honestly think we've thrown out like 12 bin bags of stuff so far. Uh, yeah, it turns out when you live somewhere for like five years, you hoard a lot of things. And it's just been like rubbish, like boxes that we kept in case the warranty of something ran out when it hasn't. So yeah, we're working our way through it though. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make some dinner and then we'll continue on for the evening. Time is currently 6.55 and I've done 12,000 steps so far today, which is not too bad. Um, just been walking around the house. Sounds like my water's boiling, so I'm gonna go put some potatoes in. So, it snowed again. And it's settled. Hopefully it doesn't snow anymore tonight because I need to get to work in the morning. 
So this is annoying. Go away, Snow. Nobody wants you. And don't turn to ice either. Oh, I think it's still snowing. Oh, go away. So that's a little bit infuriating. I don't want the snow. Can you go away, please? Um, so yes. I'm just editing the vlog to go up for this weekend. And I think this is where I'm going to actually end this weekend vlog. So, uh, you may have noticed the videos have been slightly shorter recently. Even, like, the sit-down ones. Do you like them more? Do you like them less? I'm trying, like, doing a lot shorter videos just to see if people like them more. Um, so let me know. And yes, thank you for watching this weekend. And I will see you. Oh, stuff up there. I'll see you in next weekend's vlog. Bye. I didn't film today and I really should have. I'm going to regret that tomorrow. Should have filmed today.